As a clinician, for me, eight years ago, when I was working with a, a woman who was uh, studying Chinese medicine, one day she came in almost 20 minutes late to uh, our session, and that was very uncharacteristic of her. And so I said, oh, are you okay? And she said, I was so deep in prayer that I couldn't leave the church. I pray every day, I go to the church every day, and I actually considered becoming a nun. And honestly, I was so shocked and taken aback. <laughs> I hadn't asked her this question. This question had never come up in an entire year of work together. And because of the depth of her belief, this was a critical element in, in moving forward in her life. Both Shelley and I have encountered many, many people who have gone to get help from a psychotherapist and they are at the same time a dedicated spiritual practitioner or a deeply religious person. And the idea that people are going to ask for help from mental health professionals and they may not even be asked one time, what are your religious beliefs? What do you think about the meaning of life? What do you think happens after we die? You know, do you believe in a God? How do you make meaning of what's happening to you? That's really surprising. So we thought, well, why are psychologists and mental health professionals not receiving training in these topics? And one reason is that there's a bit of a taboo against it in the field of psychology. And the other is that there simply aren't training guidelines. So we thought, well, we may not be able to address the taboo fully all in one fell swoop, but we can do research to develop training guidelines so that when people realize, oh, this is an important part of human experience, they'll have a method of integrating it into training for mental health professionals. We felt that uh, competencies were necessary so that everyone training in the field would actually be exposed to this realm of life, which is such a core realm for so many people. Um, another inspiration was the fact that when we were doing research, we found out that 72% of millennials, that is uh, people between the ages of 19 and, and 28, were actually considered themselves spiritual and not religious. So what happened was there's nowhere for a lot of people to go and people are turning more and more towards therapists to actually ask a lot of questions to. And this realm is, I think, has always been important to human nature, but it's especially been becoming more and more critical, I think, to a lot of people's life journeys now. We've been really excited to do this work and to write this book because I think Shelley and I believe that just with a few simple skills and tools and pieces of knowledge, we can increase the effectiveness of psychotherapy and mental health care across the board.